Um, all right, so I'd like to take a quick poll. Um, how many people here are um, have read have read The Stolen Bicycle or A Man with Compound Eyes? Okay, fantastic. And how many are Mandarin speakers or can understand a bit? All right, great. Thank you. That was fun. Okay. Um, so, Wu Lashi, Shi Lashi, Huan welcome. Um, I'd like to begin with a question on the chemistry of stories. In Stolen Bicycle, the narrator says, stories exist in the moment when you have no way of knowing how you got from the past to the present, but as you listen to them, you feel like they have been woken up and end up breathing them in. Needle-like, they poke along your spine into your brain before stinging you hot and cold in the heart. Ulashi, does this metaphor extend into the writing of the stories? Do you find that you wake up stories as, as you write them? Uh, thank you. 謝謝大家今天晚上來哦。關於這個問題呢,我自己在教寫作的時候,常常告訴學生說,不是每一個事件它都會變成小說。Yeah, he's a teacher, and he teaches creative writing, and he often tells his students, it's not every incident or event can be turned into fiction. 有一些事件非常特別,它好像有生命力一樣。我接下來講一個簡單的故事給大家。all right, but some events, some incidents seem so full of vitality that they have potential for fiction to be fictionalized. And you'd like to tell us a story. So the story is personal story, family story, end of the world, of the Second World War, his mom's uh, father's grandfather was hoarding grain, or trying to store up grain so they'd have enough to eat, and they were discovered, and a uh, police officer came to try to arrest uh, his grandfather. So when the police officer arrived, he tried to escape out the back door, but the back wall uh, was too high for him to, to, to get over. He couldn't escape, and so he turned back and uh, said to his seven daughters, well, why did I have seven daughters, seven daughters? <laughs> In the end, he has 11 daughters, so he had seven, so he said, uh, no help at all, seven daughters. Right, so the, uh, the Japanese police officer was trying to break down the door, and the dog inside the house was starting to bark, and he was still trying to get over the wall. It's just still too hot, he can't go over the wall. 突然之间,我的母亲说,我的母亲是大姐,她说,她的爸爸,阿爸,她讲台语,亲戚就叫她两块,不会给你,很像鸟一样飞过那个墙。So, uh, his, his mother uh, was one of the seven daughters, and she said in Taiwanese language, uh, Dad, uh, stop trying to fly over the, the wall like a bird. 我的外公飞过去之后就没有再回家了。那我外公住的一个小镇呢，是靠海的小镇。我外公接下来的生活全部都在海上，划着他的小船在海上，没有再靠岸。Okay，所以他也翻墙。翻墙飞过去。Oh, so in fact he uh he did he was able to fly over the wall like a bird. Yeah, sure. And ended up hiding out on a boat. Yeah. Uh, offshore, and he wouldn't come back to shore. He was afraid he'd get arrested if he did. 接下來的幾個月,沒有人見過我外公,我的母親為了謹慎起見,她每天把食物藏在海邊的礁石裡面,石頭裡面,她認為她的父親會去吃,如此過了三個月之後,我的外公回來了。So, uh, nobody saw uh, his, his grandfather for uh, three months, perhaps because every day um, his mom, uh, Grandfather's daughter would uh, hide food in the kind of tidal rocks for him to come in and, and collect and then go back out. And uh, so he wouldn't get discovered. Uh, 回来之后, 我的母亲问他说, 
，就是说你怎么有能力飞过这个这么高的围墙呢？我的外公说，不是我飞过去的，围墙上面有一个穿着白衣服的女孩子伸出手来把我拉过去。When he finally came back three months later,、uh, his daughter,、uh, the author's mother, asked him, "How were you able to fly over、uh, the the wall?" And he said, "I didn't fly over. There was this woman、uh, dressed all in white. She extended her hand and she pulled me over." This man, then, is the mother. My my wife thinks is the mother. You know? Okay, she thinks is the mother. 啊，台中的大甲的妈祖庙离我外公所在的这个小渔村呢、啊，大概有十五公里的距离。他就带着他的七个女儿，从这个小渔村走到妈祖庙。从此以后，每一年，每一年，我母亲直到现在，她都一定要回到家乡去拜这个妈祖庙。感动，要不然你先翻一下。So. The grandfather thought that this was the、uh, was Mother Matsu. Matsu is a goddess of the sea. So the woman dressed in white who helped him over the the wall was this、uh, sea goddess. And so、um, when he was all home, safe and sound, he took his seven daughters to、uh, a famous temple to、uh, the sea goddess, to Mother Matsu, about fifteen kilometers from where they from where they lived, and、uh, said thank you to the to the goddess. And to this day, this is now、um, seven decades later. His mother will go back to this temple every year to say thank you for saving my father. When my mother told me this story, I knew very well that my father was in the service of the Holy Spirit, so he had to go back to the temple to save his father. Well, he knows, as、uh, someone who's got a modern education, that、uh, the reason his father was able to get over his grandfather was able to get over the. Wall was not Mother Matsu, but rather adrenaline. <laughs> 但是我必须，我必须相信我母亲告诉我的这个故事，因为这个故事它有能力长成一个关于这个小渔村在二次大战日本统治最后几年的风景的一个小小悬疑。嗯、right. ，So I guess you couldn't write a story about adrenaline. <laughs> So he would rather believe the story that he heard from his mother、uh, about his grandfather's salvation and the intervention of、uh, Mother Matsu, because this kind of a story、um, would be a great way of reflecting、uh, the Taiwanese experience in a small fishing village in central Taiwan in the last couple of years of the war. Um, like this is what I call it, is a small story of a life's journey. 这就是可以成为故事，可以成为小说的一个元素。Right, because this kind of a story, as small as it may seem,、uh, has the potential to become a, a really、uh, interesting story. Has the potential to become fiction. It's got dramatic potential. 接下来我简短的讲一个《唤醒单身世界记》这本小说的一个小小的故事。啊、uh, ，我说接下来我讲一个关于唤醒，因为他用了 wake up， 唤醒 wake up。Oh, one day, one day. Okay, 单车司机这本小说的一个小故事 Right. So, Anna, I mean, Anna's question is about waking up stories, waking up. So, he'd like to tell us a story in uh, uh, stolen bicycle related to stolen bicycle about waking up. Ah,、uh, 我有一个家庭医生啊，他是二次大战的时候在剧本时代，呃，台北市十八位台湾人的医生的其中一位，因为当时台湾人是很难读到这个医学院。那这个老医生是这样子，在日本时代 ，family doctor was one of the eighteen Taiwanese doctors uh, in uh, 1949, 1944, 1945. It was really hard for Taiwanese people to get a medical education during the colonial period. There were only eighteen of eighteen such doctors. His family doctor is one of them. 这个老医生是个寂寞的人，因为我每次带我哥哥的小孩去看病，他都会给我一篇文章，他写的文章。因为我是他的读者，有一次他给我这个篇文章，关涉到一头红毛猩猩的故事。哦、oh, ，OK， 呃、um, so ， a, a, a lonely old fellow， and、uh, this was years later， of course， and、um, uh, when we used to take his brother's kids to to see the doctor， 
when, when they fell sick. And the doctor, uh, I guess, knew that you were a writer and yeah. shared an essay that he had written uh, about an incident of the colonial period, an incident in the Japanese colonial period about a, um, uh, about a chimpanzee. 他说在以前他们的小学，文章里面写到，以前在他们的小学里面养了一头红毛猩猩，每天呢小朋友呢就很开心的跟这头红毛猩猩说啊，一去喽，哈喽，他他是他的名字叫一去喽，一郎啊。
that seems to have uh, kind of fireworks in it has potential to become a,、uh, a work of fiction. 我刚刚这两个故事里面有一个共同点，这个共同点就是离开。另外一个共同点就是两个地方的距离都是十五公里。Okay, so、uh, the two stories he told about his grandfather going over the、um, the wall and Mr. Ichiro、uh, going away from the school and going towards the、uh, the the zoo. Have、uh, one thing in common, and that's something I didn't say, unfortunately. Fifteen kilometers.、Mm. Yeah. It was fifteen kilometers from their house to the temple to the goddess、uh, Matsu. It was also about fifteen kilometers from the school to the zoo, and both stories were also about leaving. This, of course, is my fault. One from the south, one from the north. This <laughs> okay, so fifty、uh, kilometers he he made up. Fifty kilometers was、um, his own invention, his own imagination. When these two stories are split into two different books, but they both offer a distance of fifty kilometers. That slow walk, 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 Right. So if you write a, the two stories like this with、um, a common detail, fifteen kilometers, a perceptive reader is going to pick up on it, and、uh, the stories are going to kind of come together,、uh, reflect each other in the reader's imagination. So, the story will wake up another story. So, one story will wake up another story. So, one story will wake up another story. So, one story will wake up another story. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow.